What is up? It's your girl Glasshouse Maya. You know nobody flyer. Okay. Um, while I wait for my doctor's office to open up, um, it's early in the morning. It opens at eight. It's almost eight. But anyways, neither that's neither here nor there. Um, I want y'all to see this new shirt that I picked up from Target. It has her on there. That's her name. Her her is her name. Okay. Um, yeah, so once I get back to the crib, I'll show you the whole outfit. I basically just got on those uh chucks that I purchased from Burlington, the black ones that are lugged, and this shirt and some jeans. I didn't want to wear these jeans, but I didn't want black jeans to blend in with the shoes either, so I just went with these regular just denim jeans, anyways. While I wait, I just want to talk about something that has transpired last week, which is why I haven't been picking up the camera much. I just been feeling um in a state of grief, you know. Uh I lost my cousin. He's my favorite cousin, okay? We grew up together, you know, we went places together, we did a lot of things together, okay? And today we have to go me and my mom and make his arrangements um he was only 34 years old or years young he was 34 years young and you know when dealing with grief you just go through those stages where you don't want to accept it and then you kind of accept it and then you go back to the denial stage like like nah and then you go through that stage where you kind of be okay with it each day as each day passes, you know, and that's kind of where I've been kind of all over the place, but more accepting of it. And I think that I know that I will get through this and y'all just pray for me and my family. Okay. Um, we're still trying to figure things out and yeah you know i don't i don't do yeah so i just wanna remember my cousin in the light that he was and i'm just gonna leave this conversation at that so today you know that's what we got to do you know take care of business um other than that i gotta wash some clothes like i gotta bust some clothes down because the clothes is getting outrageous because i just haven't been doing much of what i'm supposed to be doing now normally i do wash clothes on monday anyway so but i didn't wash i normally wash my kids clothes on thursday and then monday i will wash my clothes but i didn't wash their clothes or my clothes thursday i don't know what was going on thursday i think i was door dashing or something i don't know but y'all anyways so i'm gonna get in here go to this doctor's appointment do what i need to do to keep myself healthy and I just thank God for another day, you know. I pray that today flows pleasantly and easily. And these are things I pray for every day. You know, I pray for my family. I pray for my children. I pray for my friends. I pray for, you know, the abundance flowing to me. Good health, wealth. Health is wealth. And, you know, that's why I do the things I do and I make the choices that I make. Um, so I pray to God it's up from here. You know what I'm saying? I pray that it's up from here and yeah. So I'll see y'all in a minute. I always wonder why funeral homes had these old vibes, 
dim lights and couches that been there since the 80s. So y'all, as I'm waiting like to get my pedicure at the nail salon here, I'm not trying to record that guy. But anyways, y'all see how the trash swirling around? Girl, it's swirling around our guy. It's swirling around like a cyclone and I can't never really catch it, but that's what it was doing. Yeah. It's just regular polish. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> And I don't know what they was watching on the TV, but they had kidnapped Arnold, and then this news ad had to come on and ruin my vibe. So let's look at all of these beautiful colors and nail polishes they have. So this is how it turned out. I just get all white. Um, yeah, I don't really care for these shoes, but I just wore them because they are the only ones where my pinky toe is not like behind the strap and I didn't want to mess up the polish. So anyways, I'm done at the nail salon. Hold on. Yeah, I'm back at home now. Um, So I asked this man for shellac, okay? I hadn't had a pedicure in almost a year. Yeah, because it was in April of last year. I remember specifically because after I won my court thing, I went and got a pedicure um but i do like my own home like pedi like i have the foot spa so i do it myself so my feet aren't like busted crusted or nothing like that okay matter of fact i'm gonna show you the stuff you need to use on your feet just hold on one second and i don't know if i've shown this before on my channel but this is what you need okay this is freeman's barefoot healing overnight foot treatment and it says to use it two to three times a week. I just use a little bit every night um, after I get out of the shower. But it has marula oil and cocoa butter. And I just like the way it feels. Like it makes my feet stay smooth, soft. I don't really have problems with cracked or, uh, you know, hard peeling skin or anything like that. And what I do is I get out the shower, dry myself off, all right? If you want to stay moisturized, right when you get out the shower or bath, whatever it is you do, um, make sure you use some lotion and then use this on your feet. And then put on socks, okay? Don't just be walking on the bare floor with this on your feet because you might slip. This stuff is a little bit slippery. Um, so put on socks. And I think that's the main thing for me when it comes to like foot care is that I'm always in socks because I'm always in sneakers. And I think that allows my feet to hold in that um, moisture. And my feet do sweat quite a bit, um, especially in the summertime when it's really hot. So I have sweaty feet and sweaty palms. I've always had that. And yeah, so I, I'm not big on wearing sandals because it seems like my feet sweat more when they're out. I, it's weird. I don't know. But yeah, get you some of this for your feet if you don't want the cracked and all of that um so yeah i'm just 
decided to make today just a day where I just kind of relax and, and just calm myself and just get back in the flow of being in a state of joy and happiness and allowing that peace to find me, okay? And creating that peace in my space. So that's why I decided to go do that. Um, and also I've just been taking care of some other things that need to be taken care of today. But as of right now, I'm probably going to record TikToks because, oh, what is that? Honestly, I haven't been on TikTok for like a week. I've just been avoiding the camera, period. Just kind of having a digital detox and not being on my phone. Um, I have been watching TikTok videos and lives, but not really engaging much because, you know, that's not where I was. But now... I'm ready to get back on it. You know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, I even got on my self-care shirt today. All right. Take time for yourself today, tomorrow and every day. That's a reminder for somebody listening. Um, other than that, I'm not doing any outfits here soon. I need to switch out my rack over here. Because all of that is like long sleeve stuff and it's been hot. I know it's still technically it ain't spring yet, but it's been hot. Yesterday it was almost in the 90s. Today it's almost in the 80s. Um, even though it's like super windy outside, as you seen in my video earlier, like the trash was rolling in circles like a cyclone. Um, even though it's windy outside, it's still humid and hot outside. Like I haven't had on a jacket in like at least three or four days um so yeah other than that i think i'm pretty much well i may pick it back up tomorrow so i'm we're gonna see we're gonna see what's gonna happen but in the meantime you can go ahead and tap that like button that share button that subscribe button that bell notification button just hit all the buttons for your girl push the goddamn button all right Feeling like this Sunday evening, love going down, but ain't nobody leaving. And you see it.